Hi there, it's Pastor James here at Bethesda Lutheran. It's very quiet here today. <laughs> uh, as Mary, it's her day off, uh, and I'm all, all alone. <laughs> no, actually the, the, the newsletter folders were in earlier, but uh, so as, as I love to do uh, when I have get a little stir crazy, I like music. And one of the things I've really been thinking about using for a while now here at Bethesda um, or at least for the last month or two that I've had this, I got this book uh, from Augsburg Fortress, Singing in Community, uh, Paperless Music for Worship. It's a lot of these nice, simple, uh, prayerful uh, worship kind of music, uh, some world music, some old music, some new music, things that are sung in rounds, things that are sung with repetition, basically easy music for people to learn. And so I thought, hey, now's a great time for us to learn perhaps through a little series of some of these little songs. And play it and replay it and then you can definitely humor me when we get back together um, on Sunday mornings uh, and something we can maybe use and so if you'd like one uh, we'll go through a lot of them maybe not all of them certainly not all of them today maybe just a few today but uh, can be something that we can maybe use down the road in our communal worship services so let's see here where should we start At the very beginning I guess number one all who are thirsty Text and music by a Brian Wenzel. So this one is done uh, with a leader part and an assembly part. So I'll play through the whole thing, um, but it's meant to be some sort of call and response, a little bit like that. sharps in there. Did you know that? And I did not know that. I mean, I knew it. I definitely knew it, but I should try it now with the sharps, just checking to see if you could, could tell. it again now with the words. So the leader comes in and they start, they sing for a verse, and then the assembly comes in, then the leader, then the assembly, then the leader, then the assembly. So the leader starts. All who are thirsty, the assembly comes in, come to the waters. All who are hungry, come here and eat. All who, whoop, all who are thirsty, Now let's try breaking it down a little bit. Um, I'll leave a little blank and you can come on in for your part. All who are thirsty Oh, 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 oh,
and as you probably picked up already, um, that last note for the assembly is the first note. So you can just keep repeating it for ever and ever, uh, but eventually you would resolve on that. And there are harmony parts uh, that go along with those response sections by the assembly, uh, but we will probably cover that in a future video. Hopefully, if I can get a few um, folks to join me on the harmony parts, or at least we can go through it together, but we'll start small and we'll build from there. Um, plus, that way, you know, more content. But uh, no. <laughs> anyway, that'll be a good start for us on this one, and we'll go to another song. All right, another great one uh, early on in this book. Um, another kind of communion one uh, is called As We Eat This Bread. It's very simple. Um, it says in the little notes beneath it, teach the text and the melody, let harmonies emerge. It doesn't offer harmonies, so I guess you can kind of do your own harmonies. I guess that's what it means to emerge. They just spring out of the ground. But uh, another good little communion song. Again, this is uh, As We Eat This Bread by Stephanie Spellers. As we, as we eat this bread, then we drink. job there are these triplets uh, at two points both in the middle and at the end there so I've been getting the middle ones but not quite the end one so that's the coming the body of Christ and at the end kingdom will come through our lives don't want you to sing it quite so stilted like that but uh, just to get that little bit of that syncopation that makes it kind of fun I also can imagine this is a song that you could really just start speeding up maybe have the the drum going on it our little um, our little cajon, our little box drum. Folks remember seeing that um, a couple times. I like got our jamboree. I believe we had it at, had it going. But uh, let's try it, and we'll kind of go a little slow. As we eat this bread and we drink this cup. Try that part again. As we eat this bread and we drink this cup. As we eat this bread and we drink this cup. We're becoming the body of Christ. We're becoming the body of Christ. We're becoming the body of body of Christ. Come and fill our hearts, so we'll dream your dreams. Come and fill our hearts, so we'll dream your dreams. And your kingdom. We're becoming the body of Christ. Come and fill our hearts so we'll dream your dreams. And your kingdom will come through our lives. As we eat this bread and we drink this cup, we're becoming the body of Christ. Come and fill our hearts so we'll dream your dreams. And our kingdom will come through our lives. You can just see, you can just do this one over and over and over and over again. Um, so I think you could have a lot of fun with this one. Another great little communion one. Dun, dun, dun. All right. We're going to skip ahead a little bit because I wanted to have, this, I think there's one that's really great uh, given all that's going on right now. Another super simple little one. Another one based off of an Isaiah passage. Uh, Isaiah 43 is what the text is based off of, and the music is by Adele Crawford. Um, and so this, again, this is a nice simple little song. Um, it, the little notes at the bottom say this could be sung at a baptism, a confirmation, or any time we are reminded that we are children of God. Um, but I think it's also just a great one, uh, and you'll get this from the, the title. It's called Do Not Fear. Do Not Fear. And I think right now, obviously, 
there's a lot of fear, a lot of stress going on out there. And so uh, I think that's always a great reminder that, that uh, with God, we do not need to fear. Doesn't mean we won't. <laughs> there's certainly plenty of things that we don't need to do, um, but we do not need to fear. All right. Do not fear, I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. Actually, I think I want to change that last bit. I had to question Miss uh, Adele Crawford, but I kind of like it a little bit better like this. You are mine. You are mine. Rather than you are mine. So, apologies to Adele. I think I'm going to sing it my way. So, but uh, let's try that again. Do not fear, I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. Do not fear, I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. Triplet. I have redeemed you. I have called another triplet. I have called you by name. You are mine. Do not fear. I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. Do not fear. I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. Do not fear. I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. Do not fear. I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. Lovely little song from Adele Crawford. Apologies for my changes. Have a great day, everyone. See you soon. Bye.